flow from Lower Bear River right at the Highway 70 overcrossing. The flow is much higher than it was at the Pleasant Grove overcrossing. The water is uh, murky. And um, it's channelized, and we can't see if there's any salmon in there. And I wish I could follow it all the way out to see that beautiful work that River Partners did on the last two miles. Um, I'll have to look at, I think we're probably within two or three miles of the re rehabilitation of it. But anyway, I don't know the flow. I just know the day. <laughs> and uh, it looks, like I said, between 30 and 50 CFS. Or more. Not as much garbage, but that person wasn't dead. They were breathing, but we're kind of freaking out and not knowing what's the deal there. And there we go into the sunset bear river no no clue on the salmon but there was that fish four miles up river from here and I could see how they could get up there because you got a flow here and I don't know what it does in between I wish I could fly and I'd fly down to the confluence and I'd fly on up and I'd probably take pictures of our bear river the whole way So here's praying for Bear River, whatever's going on. And uh, the other end of the bridge is clear over there. And I guess there's a lot of stuff in between where lots of stuff can happen here. So I don't know. If we lived in a different world, maybe it would be a safe place. Oh, Matakweas, and we are all related. Merry Christmas, everyone. Looking for a Prospero Año Nuevo? We'll see. Signing off from Bear River, Kumam Seu, desperately wanting to recover and restore.